Hi everyone. So I am going to do my tutorial on how to cut jeans, specifically flares. So this is our sneak peek flare. Um, I got these last week. They are super long in length. So what happens when you have a jean that's too long instead of not being able to buy it, I'm going to show you how you can buy it and you can make it work for you. So I already have some flares that I cut shorter that I can wear with flip flops, but I want to wear these with wedges, but I want to kind of let um, like my toe show a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the ways and through the process of cutting the jeans. So this is the before I have the wedges on that I'm going to wear. They are still super, super long. Um, my wedges are probably about two and a half, three inches, and I still have plenty of room. So the first thing you're going to do is find the shoe that you plan on wearing um, your jean with. Once you do, I just need you, or if you have someone um, to help you, that's, I mean, it might be easier for you, um, but once you get the hang of it, you can definitely do it yourself. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start folding the jean to where you want it to be at. So, sorry as I bend over, but. So, I want my toe to show. So if you can see, it's peeking out a little bit. So I am gonna make sure that I fold that all the way around and I really make that crease right there. All right, so crease is there. I like it, you can see my toe. So that's the length I'm going for. So give me a minute and we'll get to the rest. All right, ladies, I'm back. I'm in my leggings, I took the jeans off. So the best way to take them off is honestly pull them from the bottom from the cuff. That way you're making sure that your cuff is stayed put the whole time you take them off. You're gonna take your jeans off I'm going to need you to button them and zip them up like you normally would. And then you can just go around and make sure, again, that cuff is all the way around. Now, when we first cut these, you're going to have that straight hem. Don't worry about it. Um, I mean, I love that look too, but the more that you wash them, you're going to start getting that like frayed hem, um, which is definitely in. So your jeans are going to look literally like you bought them like that. Um, and that's honestly what just makes it so great is no one's going to know that you cut them, just you, unless you tell them. So. We're gonna make sure that the cuff is all the way around and then we're gonna take the scissors. I always suggest probably laying like them on the floor. That way you have a total flat surface. Um, I'm using a table just so you guys can see today for reference, but laying it out on the floor honestly makes it a lot easier because you can get the jean perfectly flat. So I'm doing one leg at a time. So I'm gonna take the leg that I cuffed and I'm just gonna grab the scissors and at the bottom right on that crease, I'm just gonna make a little snip. It is so little, literally, you guys can see. It is the littlest clip. So, then what I'm gonna need you to do is lay the jean flat again. All right, so now I'm just gonna need you to undo that cuff. So once you have that cuff undone, I need you to lay everything flat, make sure the edges of the jean line up. You're going to see where you made that cut, and that's gonna be your guide. So I am literally, if you use longer scissors, it definitely makes it easier than using shorter ones because I wanna get to that line. So I'm literally just going to, to line my scissors up with that line. Now, if making the cut closer to the hemline, going down the side is easier for you, definitely do that. I would definitely do that if you're just starting out. Um, but if you do it a few times and you become a pro, you can literally make that little snip wherever you like. So I'm just gonna line my scissors up right with where I made that clip. Now, what I will also say is if it's your first time, I would suggest cutting a little um, longer than your, like a little right at the bottom of that cut. That way you don't go cut too short, too quickly. Um, you can't undo if you cut too short, but if you cut too long, you can definitely make adjustments. So I would try to aim for that. Um, so I'm gonna just take my scissors, line them up with that little snip and I'm just going to start cutting across. Now, I'm holding tension on to the jean just to hold it really like really tight. Um, and then I'm just gonna cut across. So I just hit where I made my little snip, so I'm going straight. Now, if you get a little, you know, a little jagged, again, they're gonna fray a few times after a few washes, so don't even worry about that. Um, I know straight is best, but honestly, no one can tell. And the way that they wear, it'll be just fine. So the best thing, again, just make sure that your jeans are tight the whole time you're doing it. 
That's why the floor is a little bit easier. So I am just gonna again go. I'm holding the bottom um, because I really just want to keep it tight when I'm cutting across. And literally it is so easy. And anytime you feel like maybe it's cutting too much, just go ahead and pull the bottom again. And I am almost to the edge. All right, so as you can see, that is pretty straight. So this is gonna be my guide for the next pan. Like, all right, so now that we're finished the first pan, like I just wanna show you, that is where I made my little snip. So I did cut just below it. That way I do have playroom if I want them to be a little bit shorter, but that's like my good guide. So I am going to then, you're going to measure these, you know, make them even. So best to grab the pant legs by the bottom. We'll just, and then I'm just going to shake them out and then lay them down again. Make sure they are perfectly flat. You don't want any little bumps in your jeans um, because that could make them different lengths. So make sure that it is nice and flat as you can see. And then you're gonna have the leg that was cut facing the top. That way that's your guide to cut the pants leg that is on the bottom. So again, I'm literally just going to start right where the bottom is on the other jean, just to get started. Again, holding that jean tight. Now you have two options. You at this point can still guide along the cut um, jean already pant leg, or you can flip this up now that you've created your line. I've gone a little bit, um, maybe like six inches in. If then you want to fold the pant leg up, that way it doesn't get in your way, and then go across straight, you definitely can do that as well. Um, but beginning out, I definitely would just keep that guide for yourself. So go ahead and just cut straight across. Again, making the jean tight. Obviously you would be going a little bit slower. Um, because it is your first time, but just cutting straight across. I am almost to the other side. All right, now holding them up. Literally, I think they're almost even. Um, again, perfection is important, important, but it's not with these because they're gonna fray a little bit and they're gonna flip up a little bit. So. Let's go ahead and try them on. All right, so I put my jeans back on, I put my wedges with them, and I got it on the first try. So my toes are just peeking out. That is the look that I wanted. There is that like raw hem. Like I said, you're gonna it's gonna be straight. The more that you wash them, it'll start to fry a little bit. Um, you also can stretch it out a little bit if you like to give it a little bit more, but I would say just let it do it naturally in the wash. Um, that way you just have that natural frayed look. But again, follow those directions and it's super, super simple. Again, if you go a little bit longer than um, you want in the first, like to start, then you have more room to play with. If you cut too short, there's no going back. So I always advise going a little bit longer than you want. That way you have playroom. I literally wanted my toes to peak in my wedges and that is what I have. So. If you have any questions, you can definitely reach out. Um, I'm here, I've, I've cut jeans for customers before. Um, if you need like help just doing it on your first try, I definitely don't mind. Um, but definitely just watch this video and I wish you all the luck in the flare world.